The Samsung Galaxy A23 5G is what you're looking at. And if it sounds familiar, it's because a non-5G version of this device was released a few months ago. What else does this phone have? The most visible difference is that Samsung switched the chipset to one that supports 5G. I'm ready to review something new. And you will learn more about the Galaxy A23 5G. The Galaxy A23 5G is a low-cost smartphone that aims to provide 5G connectivity and a good enough experience for the price. The phone features a simple monochromatic design. The A23 5G feels reasonably solid in the hand and is composed of plastic with a matte finish. That is nice to the touch. There is no ingress protection present, unlike on higher-end Galaxy A series phones. The A23 5G's display is a 6.6-inch LCD with 1080p resolution, Gorilla Glass 5, and a 120Hz refresh rate. With a 400 ppi pixel density, and reasonably accurate colors, and contrast for an LCD, this panel is sharp enough. However, HDR support is not offered, and while the brightness is sufficient but nothing special. The phone's auto brightness setting is determined by the selfie camera, and it is not a reliable improvement over the 5G model. When you stop touching the display, the refresh rate goes down to 60Hz to save energy. The problem is that, while the high refresh rate is supposed to make your user experience more fluid and seamless, it also has limitations. The phone's hardware caused plenty of hitches and delay in our instance. Even when we were performing routine daily tasks like browsing the web or using the camera. Closing and opening apps also took some time to load. We think these factors are why we only have a version with 4 gigabytes of RAM, and we're hoping that the variation with 6 or 8 gigabytes won't have the same slowdown. Because the processor itself is quite reliable, a Snapdragon 695 5G, and because we have recently seen them quite frequently in the mid-range, we think that the RAM is the issue in this situation. You would expecting decent performance in this area, and the A23 5G's benchmark results for CPU and GPU are not poor at all, they fall somewhere in the center of the pack for the class. The A23 5G has already gotten an update to Samsung's most recent software, version UI 5 which is based on 13. It has a good amount of functionality, is bloat-free, and comes with strong software support from Samsung. One UI 5 also adds a few new features, such modes. You can create these profiles, to manage your phone's behavior, depending on what you are doing, such as do not disturb while you are at work. The ability to set a video clip as your lock screen background is another notable new feature. The Samsung Galaxy A23 5G's audio features a headphone port, and a single bottom firing speaker, that is powerful and receives high marks. The audio quality is also good, with good vocal clarity and even a little bass. A side fingerprint reader that is integrated, into the power button can be used to unlock the phone. You can purchase a 23 5G with 64, 128 or 256 gigabytes of storage, with the option of microSD expansion. The Samsung Galaxy A23 5G has a massive 5000 mAh battery with outstanding battery life. The phone has a 25 watt charging connector, but unlike the 4G variant, there is no charger included. However, using the right Samsung adapter, we were able to charge the phone, from 0 to 58 in just 30 minutes. The Samsung Galaxy A23 5G includes a number of cameras, even though the secondary ones are more affordable. A 50MP main camera with OIS, a 5MP ultra-wide camera, a megapixel micro camera, and a depth sensor are all located on the back. By default, the main camera records 12.5 megapixel images, and during the daytime, they come out well with lots of resolved detail, correct color, and low noise levels. 
The natural appearance of this camera is its best feature. Photos taken with the primary camera in low light, are like able with a wonderful quantity. Only the main camera can capture images with a nighttime ambience, and both the photo taking and photo saving processes take a short while. The ultrawide camera's nighttime images have a sufficient amount of exposure. The 8 megapixel camera produces good selfies. The Snapdragon 695 chipset only supports 1080p resolution video recording, it does not support 4K video capture. Although the colors are a little flat and the edges are soft, 1080p footage from the ultrawide is also rather reliable. Thus, the Samsung Galaxy A23 5G is presented. When everything is taken into account, it's a really well-rounded tablet. You get a high refresh rate LCD, amazing battery life, reasonably quick charging, and a pretty capable main camera for the price, in addition to 5G connection. The slow user experience was our main complaint, therefore you might want to choose a device with greater RAM than 4GB. If that doesn't concern you, the Galaxy A23 5G might be something to consider. However, keep in mind that for a little bit more money, you can upgrade to the Galaxy A33, which has a lot more features. Thank you for watching, guys. If you want to keep up with the newest information about gadgets and mobile phones, as well as reviews of them, please subscribe to my channel.